Hey, it's me, JV, and welcome to another boss guide for Lords of the Fallen 2023, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rapturous Huntress of the Dark, or the Dusk, whatever she's the Huntress of. This one's really weird. Um, you get an NPC fight to help you, like a summon, um, no matter what. Uh, apparently, there's a thing where if you talk to the NPCs, this will happen. This specific NPC, the gray whatever he is. Um, so yeah, the first phase of the fight is super easy because you have a non-negotiable, uh, negotiable, uh, NPC helping you. And then the second phase, you can just soul flay, um, to finish her off. So very, very, very easy boss. Uh, you can see we've got our little NPC friend over there to help us. So basically what we want to do is just get behind her and charge our twos. Uh, this way, her stagger bar will go down faster uh, if we can get charged R2s on her back. Honestly, it should be way more that it gives you. Yeah, as you can see here, I mean, um, she's pretty easy because this is why I don't use summons, basically, uh, when I'm playing Soulsborne games. Because it just makes it way too easy. They don't have their, like, um, they don't have their uh, attention on you. So it just becomes far easier. Uh, so she's entered the second phase where she blocks off parts of the map. Obviously, you don't want to step into those parts. Uh, we're going to try to keep this guy alive if we can. I'm going to just keep attacking her until her stagger bar is removed here. Uh, but yeah, she'll block off parts of the map. Um, so obviously, don't step into the radiant parts. We're going to kick her and then give her a repost here. But yeah, just the simple fact that um, you, know, you get an NPC to help you here. Makes this a million times more easy. I'm going to try to soul flay her because she will get soul flayed and then we can deal a bunch of wither damage to her soul flayed body. Uh, and yeah, uh, super duper duper easy. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this guy alive just in case there's some sort of like secret little cutscene at the end after you do that. Uh, but yeah, um, this is why in a nutshell I do not use summons basically. Because it just makes the boss super easy. As as far as the actual boss themselves, like what they do, I want to keep this guy alive. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, that is the Rapturous fight. Um, basically, as far as the actual fight itself goes, first phase is incredibly easy because this guy will just help you. You just want to wail on her and she'll usually be pretty focused on him so you don't even have to dodge too much. Second phase, she'll block off parts of the map. Obviously, if you step into those parts, you're going to take damage. And then she'll just do these like lightning kicks and spear throws, which you obviously want to practice rolling. Um, I don't believe you can guard them because it is like radiant damage, but if you keep that guy alive, I mean, you can just continue to wail on her over and over and over again, and yeah, just basically a free boss fight because, yeah, they just uh, force you having an NPC. Uh, apparently only if you talk to that guy, but I don't know who's going to go through this game for the first time at least and not talk to the NPCs, you know what I mean? But anyways, hope this guide helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, support the video, support the channel if you'd like to see more quicker, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.